There we go. Right, let's go from Wessex Blades here. Out with Joe on a, um, it's a two dayer. And we do have a load of young ones joining us, but it got called off. Um, so, yeah, we did our usual two poncho job, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, we were fine. We knew, we knew rain was coming in. So, of course, there's our two ponchos. The only problem was rain was coming in about 20 degrees off a horizontal. So it was coming in like this. So, my fox tarp that I used for a ground sheet last night. While he was sleeping away in a nice pool of water, I did the honourable thing and left him in it. <laughs> and I got my tarp up against the side of the shelter like this and basically kept us both from getting rained on. That was bloody evil weather. You can see the water in the bottom of that. Just trying to air dry everything off now. As for fire detail, Nice wet start, wasn't it? Oh yeah. We'll go through the gear in a second, but uh, got a few new toys, haven't we? And a nice fleece. It's a sock. Almost ready that far. But oh, yeah. The water. The water? Mm. A drink. Right. Oh, we need a drink. But basically, my my latest naughty forty. Naughty Balty, that's actually quite a good phrase. Yeah. I have a Columbia River Knife and Tools. It's a Hammond Cruiser that's on offer at the moment, Heine Haynes. 60 quid down to 20. Heine. Heine. And this thing is quite solid. But then you put that extra little bit forward there. And that is locked. That stops it from folding round, I think, that extra little bit there. But the handle is nice. And was warm in what, five, six seconds, wasn't it? Oh, no time whatsoever. And with the bevel on it, what we're finding is feather sticks like that are a very reliable way of making a fire. But this thing came to its own this morning, didn't it? Oh, yes. We weren't filming that, it was pitch black. So, you know. And then I even baton through something small, something about that big, I was splitting with it. So that was quite good. You know, trench hook did the honours again. Oh yeah. But anyway, most important thing of all, we've got, we've got a little package. Now, after knives comes our next priority. Dave. First Dave. Fire. No. Boot. Okay, we don't need a, a zoom shot on this, do we? No. Okay, all right. Bear in mind, we've also lost 2,000 calories last night, didn't we? Oh, yeah, then. Spam! All right, first things first. Fingers. Biscuits. Orange juice. The vitamin C, of course, was right here for a little while. Yes. <laughs> Cookie mix, just add water. So basically, you just add water to this, so we'll give it a go on top of a pan or a lid or something. Yeah, why not? Tesco standard. Two lots of savoury rice. Water's boiling. Oh yes, it is. Fantastic. Can I borrow my glove? <laughs> there it is, there. There, I've got pasta and tomato sauce. Toothpaste? Why have you put toothpaste in here? I said if you get peckish, the minty flavour. Okay. Packet of pears. How much are they? Three. Staff cells. Mmm. Matheson's. I think I believe there's two of those. Yeah. Two of. Mushrooms. Okay, sliced mushrooms. Can't go wrong with that. Fresh pasta, fresh pasta sauce, nice slab of seasoned belly pork. I'm just going to zoom in on Joe's face. <laughs> he, he always gives it. That's with the salt and pepper on, isn't it? Oh, it's the salt and pepper on that as well. 
Hey, um, hang on, there's a name on there. There is a name on there. Oh, Loader of Radstock. For Mr. Loader today, we have... Men's Anatomy. One kilogram of sausage. Close up, close up. Looks like a scene at a sword, doesn't it? Lovely. And... Chicklin? Piece of resistance. God. Nice bit of sliced topside. That's a bit. Ten pounds worth. And he sliced it about half inch thick for us. <coughs> that was demonic. Okay. Alright, back to Bevy. You'll take ten minutes to put that all back in. Yeah. <laughs> and there's our nice low fire. And the wood coil is the windshield. Because the wind switch round again. Yeah. There's a 90 degree switch. Just because it felt like it. It was coming that way for a while. Why? Anyway, we're getting a drink on. Now, just run for another little trick that we came up with last night. This trick here. Uh, floodlight, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, we did get here a bit late, but you know, we were up against time, so fire was like real fast. But we come up with this balanced mag light in tree fork. So there it is propped against the tree and the mag light just jammed in there. If that was a smaller torch I don't think that would have wedged in there very well no. but that was a big pool of light wasn't it? Good it's fine. And that was balanced there quite happily. And uh, the other star last night when I was redoing my tarp. Phoenix the old one again. Hold it in your mouth, stick it under your arm. It was just doing absolutely everything and a 25 foot pool of light. Crazy bit of kit for one AAA battery. And I've now adapted it so it's got a little springy clip so I can actually take it off my keyring. That actually lives on my EDC, what I always carry. Uh, flint steel, pack of tinder, and a whistle. Anyway, on with the calories. There are those who advocate spruce tea. But last night I actually had spruce hot chocolate, didn't I? Yeah. Somehow a twig must have transferred off the bottom of his mess tin into my hot chocolate. Just as so I had the final big chug at the end. Huh! How to catch a, uh, a twig in your throat. It's quite funny. <laughs> a log in your throat, you pleased to see me. Hocka mocha chocka. That's cheapo coffee and cheapo hot chocolate. Well, apart from six new bars, not blondes. Could have eight. Go have around a dozen. Have <laughs> around a dozen. Alright, yes, I have chucked sopping wet logs on top of that fire lay. I reckon I'll just yeah, catch. catch. I'd reckon, yeah. And I've done it lengthways with the wind. Just beginning, aren't they? Yeah. They're saturated, they're actually heavy. Yeah, about what? Extra. 100% water. Almost water his own water. volume again in water, isn't it? Alright. Anyway, last night when I was contemplating on what I was going to do with the tarp, and I was going to lay that up against the side of the two ponchos, I did actually check inside the shelter, because it might have been a better option. Um, but what I was looking at was how I was going to address the tarp to here, wrap it around branches, I didn't want to get it snagged. So I stayed where I was. But actually, Inside, it's quite dry. That isn't bad. So, as I say, as Joe said this morning, if I put a tarp across the front, it would have been reasonable because that's exactly where the weather was coming in. It was coming in, sweeping in like this. And obviously the wind. But, went with what I did. And then we kept us both dry. What a champ I am.
Now you got mushrooms there, right? Yeah. Bought mushrooms. Tesco mushrooms. I just watched Sean Silver Fox um, with uh, Pat Sack came down with his family to see Sean and they introduced to this, I believe, which is the Judas ear fungus again on older or elder? Elder, elder. There's one there. It's a funny little thing. So you go find another elder tree. Elder tree. Ooh. Judas here, isn't it? And over there. Basically, it's coming out of the woodwork, quite literally. Anyway. Uh, me not being a, a mycologist, myc mycologist, I'm not going to advocate eating anything because I'm not trained in that area. But apparently, those are edible, so I saw me eat. But read book, go out of a guide. But yeah, mushrooms. On with dinner. Alright, for everybody out there, I miss out on my cooking again. It's a nice bit of sausage from Mr. Loader. Scott is unfortunately missing in action at the moment, so he's going to be missing out on his breakfast. Hmm. Yeah. All the more for me. Hmm. Wow. It's made all the better. Through campfire cooking. Yep. Excellent sausages, Mr. Loader. Cannot knock you on those. Hmm. See when Scott returned. He came back and he found his sausages very quickly. There was three in there. What's the order of events then, Scott? I don't know. I could say in the woods I like man sausage, but I'd rather not <laughs> matter with state man. Hmm. Yes, what's the order of events then, Scott? What's next? More food? Or are we going to actually do something? Brew. Brew? Or drink of water. And then... New personal space. Yes. Yes. I'll be moving camp slightly. Have to uh, decide where we're going and make a couple of screens. First we want to let this area recuperate. Indeed. Yes. Now if Scott moves slightly, you can see all of our wood cutting equipment round his belly. <laughs> In that tree, as you can probably see, you zoom in slightly. No, or not. Latin machete. Still clean this with Billions. Yep. Oh. There's also. I think I missed three more times yet. There's also a, the Glock machete in there, as you can see. And there is my trench hawk, just embedded Four slightly yet. below. He's not throwing it properly. One more miss. See? See, if I went to throw it, it would go in. There's a knack of throwing a machete, and it's not like throwing a knife. It's more like throwing a double handed axe. Oh, I took a tree. <laughs> 
that's one way to cut down bowels, I suppose. Anyway, less of uh, Scott missing and more okay, of. Okay, this uh, is honestly his first go. I don't do throwing. I throw spears, but not spinny things. There he is. Smoke in Joe's eyes. Shame! Better than your attempt. Shame! That tree is not going to last much longer. I think he's flexing. Oh yeah, he went here. Good? Yep. Oh, it's missed a tree. <laughs> it's over there. Where the deer are. The art of making mocker. Demonstrated by Scott. To do it. My culinary skills is you all prize with it. That's actually damp there. Eh? Mm. One. Two. <laughs> I entertain you. You've actually switched this to gravy brown, haven't you? It's <laughs> roadside cafe strength, is that right? That's fine. Quite possibly, yeah. Strange yellow orb in sky. We must worship. Right, you've got to watch the time on that because when he goes down to Zeth, he'll lose it. Right, so I've got two minutes thirty. Two thirty? Two thirty. Who's in a dentist set? We like it with extra chocolate. Enough of one in there, mate. Sunshine. Sun shining on me. It must be a good day with nothing ever breaking or going wrong. Hmm. Yeah, so we're definitely working with damage limitation today, aren't we? Damage limitation is the title of this one. I'm going to break the Latin machete handle. There was some very, very, very light split in the wood. A tweak. And unfortunately, there's a hole in my glove as well. Yeah. It's a small hole, it's almost like a pinhole. It's right on the tip of one of the fingers. I'm sure so Scott will show you in a second. Right, so, Latin. <laughs> Just because it hit a tree. Hmm. Just because it's saws and wood. Just because it split a twig. Damage limitation. 
Oh, Heine Haynes, you're going to be getting a little letter. Mm.